everyone, it's Raquel Bowman here and today I'm here sharing a new layout with you. I'm actually documenting my little girl's fifth birthday which only happened like last week so it's quite a recent event but one that I really really wanted to document and these photos just were screaming to be scrapbooked. So what I'm using today for this page is mainly the Addison collection from Bella Boulevard. I had lots of the bits and pieces um, like the papers, the paper pad, the stickers, the tabbies and um, ephemera pack and that sort of thing. Um, so I just felt like the colors were perfect especially because these photos are black and white. They're very girly and I love, I just love the contrast with the black and white pattern papers within the collection. I have also added and I'm using a piece of it now, um, the Oh My Stars collection. I bought a lot of them, uh, the pattern papers, the 12 by 12s from that the Oh My Stars collection at the same time as I bought the Addison collection just because I really loved how the patterns, well they're quite simple, they're just stars, but I love how they just work with any of the collections and any products really. Um, they're just a really nice more simpler pattern that will work on your pages. So what I've done is I've backed my photos on the pale pink star paper and I've done that in a way that makes it look like a film strip and I've also sort of anchored that to the top left of the page. Now to support those that sort of film strip look I decided to add it's around a three inch uh, strip of that black and white star paper to that side and when I was looking at my layout, I just wanted to add a more of a pop of color. So I've got that softer pink and then I grabbed out this yellow, which is an, from the Addison collection. And I've just used one of my um, scallop punches to punch out a scalloped edge. I could have just um, put a, just a regular strip there, but I decided that I wanted to have some kind, some more detail behind that strip there and behind the um to complement the grouping that I have to the left there so what I'm also doing is just adding some more layers behind my photos so I've added the four inch doily and now I'm just adding a piece of the it's a pink pattern paper within the collection and it's just more to uh, the left side of the photo strip and what I decided to do was I was really inspired by some of the ephemera pieces within the Addison collection. And one of them was this circle that you can see in that sort of top cluster that I've created in the pattern that I'm actually playing with right now, that triangular pattern. It was just a circle die cut and I thought, well, maybe I can continue to add circles when I'm embellishing so I grabbed out my circle punches and just punched a few extra ones from the 6x8 pattern pad uh, pattern paper pad it's getting late here sorry um, what I love is that the paper pad I was able to back with that 6x8 paper pad all of my photos in one continuous strip now normally when I do a layout like this and I want the four the four up sort of photos on a page I end up running out of space because a six by six paper pad just won't allow me to do that so the paper pad being that little bit bigger was a big bonus when I was creating this layout and what I'm doing now is just going through all of the little packs that I have so I have a couple of packs of those um, tabby or tab style ephemera pieces they're just a really fun detail to add to a page and they add a really nice layer to wherever you're embellishing or clustering embellishments. So I've sort of started by adding a main sort of embellishment cluster to the right of the photo and that has some Oh My Stars uh, embellishments as well. And then I'm sort of working to the left side of the photo and I'm just sort of adding tabs and I've got a little bow clip 
and I'm going to add some more round tabs just at the top here as well just because they're cute. One of them says be you, one had a cupcake which I thought was perfect because of birthdays. Um, that one on the side there says so cute. You could see a sort of pop of teal coming behind the top of the photo as well. That's one of the circles that I punched out of the pattern papers and then next to the photo I have the best time ever die cut piece which I thought was just a perfect title such a statement title on this page and with that hot pink there it really stands out I've layered that I love to layer embellishments so or ephemera sorry so I've layered that on top of like a die cut phone and then there's a cloud that says be happy and then the circle and then I will add more to that as well. What I'm also doing at the same time is working on a embellishment cluster in the bottom right corner of the page. The reason that I've moved to the right corner as well, the bottom right corner, is because this layer is so top and side heavy that if you imagine the weight of the embellishments uh, just I suppose in theory that the layout was sort of tipped to the side so by adding some embellishments in that bottom right corner it really helps to balance the layout out. Um, if you're interested in hearing more about how I work on my layout designs in terms of balance I am doing a class with big picture classes very very soon so I'll make sure to announce to you when that's going to be releasing but it will talk a little bit more about what I've sort of touched on in this uh, process video. Anyway so back to the layout. The There was a super super cute cupcake die cut, large die cuts, quite large in size which I wanted to add to the page and that's what I ended up adding in that bottom right corner. I've sort of added it so that it comes off the page a little bit so I will trim the excess off later and then on top of that I've added a punch circle and the five that's there actually comes from the sticker sheet in the Addison collection. Um, what I've done with that is I have removed the adhesive. I use an EK Success powder applicator tool and it's just basically to remove the stickiness from stickers so that then you can move them around the page because if you're a little bit indecisive like I am you don't like to commit to designs until you're fully sure uh, that's me so I always make sure that if I do that with stickers then I can move them around until I'm committed to the placement and I can then adhere them down so I have that up on foam adhesive actually that five and then I've added a black arrow and that's just to sort of bring in the black from that pattern paper and to add some black to that bottom corner then there's the star which is a die cut from the Oh My Stars collection and then I will eventually add some journaling but what I've decided to add here is there was a cute little heart that was actually I think from one of the older sticker sheets that I had from Bella Boulevard and then this little tab is from one of the black and white tab sets and it said make a wish and I was like birthdays okay that's perfect I have to add that I also had some of those puffy stars in my stash which after using them has made me want lots more um, they're just super fun and if you've watched any of my previous videos you know how much I love those smaller embellishments that add those finishing touches so these definitely sort of finished off those clusters of embellishments perfectly those smaller puffy stickers. So I'm finishing my page now with some journaling which is normally how I will finish a layouts process and my journaling was just typed on my typewriter. I finally figured out and was able to get my, um, what do you call it? Your typewriter ink working properly. So it's got a really nice 
bold print now. It's not sort of half half gone away. <laughs> um, so what I'm doing now is you'll see I fussed with the placement of this journaling for a long time. I think because I'm new to having a play around with this size, the journaling's normally what I leave till the end. And because an eight and a half by 11 size is a bit more new to me, it took me a little bit of time to figure out where I wanted to put it. A big part of my documenting is telling my story and my creating. I really am quite passionate about adding journaling onto my pages. So I knew it had to be there. I just wanted to find the perfect spot. So I've ended up moving some of the stickers that I'd stuck down previously so that I could sort of nestle it in amongst the star and the cupcake in the bottom right corner, as you can see me doing there. And then what I've done now is just slowed the video down just to show you some of the dimension that was achieved with the layering of embellishments and the finished product. And that's pretty much it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this process video. I'll definitely be back soon with some more. And I'm just going to leave you with some close-up images of the layout. Thanks everyone. Bye.